name is Matthew Bayliss. I am an assistant professor of physics at the University of Cincinnati. Everything that I've worked on throughout my career can relate big picture to answering the question, uh, what's the universe made of? What are the constituent pieces of the universe? What kind of matter is the universe made of? What are the laws of physics that govern the universe? Uh, and then understanding how the universe, uh, you say the word evolved, that really it's changed over time. And so to get at the science that I, I, I work on, what we call cosmology, the properties of the universe, uh, we try to look mostly at things decently far away, which means we're looking at large swaths of the universe. And in a large region of the universe, you can say, well, you know, one galaxy might be different from another galaxy, but on average, the total population of galaxies is pretty consistent across some huge region of the universe. And so we can look at one region that's nearby, which is moderately long ago, and then look at another region of the universe that's farther away, which we're seeing longer ago, and we can basically compare the average properties of the universe uh, in basically slices of time. A lot of my career has been traveling to the uh, Chilean Andes in South America. Hawaii has a lot of nice telescopes. So it's a really great work trip when you have to go to Hawaii. And then I'm also a pretty big user of space telescopes. So when we launch a satellite into orbit um, to try and make observations that can't be done through the Earth's atmosphere. I mean, I think if you'd asked me when I was graduating high school what graduate school was, I was like, well, I know people go to law school and I know people go to medical school, but I'm not really sure what else exists. Uh, and so in college, I, I kind of learned that there were other options where you can go into very specific fields to do graduate degrees. And I had no idea about that beforehand. Uh, right after I graduated as an undergraduate, I went to a big telescope for the first time. You know, on top of a mountain with a big you know, telescope, fancy instruments, taking data. And that was the moment where I was like, yep, this is what I want to do. This is, <laughs> this is really, really fun. The scales that we think or that we have to think about in astronomy are really absurdly big. Um, way much bigger than anything you can handle. We all can know that something is big, but knowing something is big and having an intuition for it is different. I mean, the distances that we measure, they're just, they're ridiculous. They're, you know, uh, the idea that light traveled 10 billion years to reach us, like, I don't know what 10 billion years is. I, I, I know what like a month is. I know what a year is. I've, I've lived those things, but wrapping your head around the scales that we deal with uh, is very, very strange. And so, um, so that, that's really the thing. That I think I do you love science? Of course you do. So stay up to date on all things science around Cincy by subscribing to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Cy Around Cincy.